Still on furlough, still another snow day. I guess I'd better just make a video. I should probably make one to do with snow. I've already done a live. I've already done the day after tomorrow. What are the snow movies, are there? Ah, 30 Days of Night. One thing about living in Santa Carla I never could stomach. All the damn vampires. It's not really a hidden gem, but I think I will make it part of the hidden gem series. I don't really like doing reviews. Reviews are, reviews are just a bit too scripted. I don't. I prefer just, just winging it. Just because he's just winging it. So here it is, 30 days of night. I've had this for a while, and I've just looked for a button in the back there. It hasn't even been opened yet. So I bought it, haven't even watched it, calling it a hidden gem. It is good though, it is good. So we'll use the Book of the Dead to open this up. Two disc special discs, and I will, I'm gonna get this watch today while I'm off. Off on furlough again. Snowing. Not really much I can do. Might look a bit weird if I go sledging by myself without my daughter. She's doing her school work. Chuck that over there. So there we go, 30 days of night. A quick look at the back. See if I can zoom in on the vampires there. I think the vampires look really good in this. Barrow, Alaska takes place in Alaska where for a whole month, there's no daylight at all. Just must be something to do with the axis of the earth and turning around the sun. The don't get, I don't know, is that real? I should have Googled that, shouldn't I, before I came on? Never mind. Must be real, 30 days of night somewhere. A remote, isolated town that is plunged into a state of complete darkness for 30 days every winter. So it must be true, it must happen. It is here that a group of marauding, merciless, and bloodthirsty vampires, led by Marlowe, played by Danny Houston, are coming, are coming. Their intention, a month long, uninterrupted feast of its helpless residents. There's no sun going to kill them. The residents are going to be stranded there. The snow is deep. I think there's only a certain amount of time you've got until you can get out. Otherwise, you've got to stay there for 30 days. It is up to the Sheriff Eben. That's Josh Hartnett. Josh Hartnett. I do like Josh Hartnett. He is a good actor. There's a strange wife, Stella, played by Melissa George. I've seen her in a couple of things. She's, she's a good actress as well. And an eye-shrinking group of survivors to do anything and everything they can to last till daylight. So we've got 30 days to wait out. And these vampires are going around killing everybody. Ghost House Pictures movie directed by David Slade. David Slade. He also had done one of the Twilight movies as well. Which one was it? I've got them all down here. There's the th I've got a three disc edition of that. It wasn't Breaking Dawn. No, it's the first Twilight. It wasn't New Moon either. What's these ones? Three disc special edition. Twilight New, was it Eclipse? I'm sure it was Eclipse. Let's see if I can have a quick look. Must be that one. Eclipse, Production, Robert Patterson, Dakota Fanning. I like Dakota Fanning, she's really good. Yeah, they're directed by David Slade as well. So that's directed by David Slade. So if you like your Twilight, I think. Actually, that's pr that, that is better than Twilight's, to be fair. It is, I, like, I do like Twilight as well. See, I've got them all there. Board the windows. Try to hide. They're coming. They? Who are they? Basically, they're plunged in the darkness. They're stuck in this town. The vampires are hunting them. Really good. There's a great bit where they get stuck in the attic. And they're just peeping out the attic. And the vampires are walking around the town. It's very creepy, very suspenseful. It's a really, really good movie. So like I see, there is a bit where they're in the attic. There's a vampire walking around down below and shh, got to be as quiet as possible.
There it is there, 30 Days of Night, a vampire movie, stuck in the snow for 30 days, should call it 30 Days of Furlough. I think I'm stuck in the house for 30 days, snow's out there, the vampires with bloody coronavirus trying to come and get us, so I'm always hiding out, hiding away from the coronavirus. 30 Days of Night, 30 Days of Furlough, two this special edition. Wonder where would that rank in vampire movies? It's not as good as The Lost Boys. It's not as good as Blade. I do like Dracula as well, like the untold story. Then maybe it's just after that, maybe. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Buffy the Vampire Slayer used to be my favourite vampire movie until I seen The Lost Boys. Watched Buffy the Vampire Slayer when it very first came out. You ask people the hell have you seen Buffy the Vampire Slayer? No, no, no. Like the series, you mean? No, the movie. It's called Swanson. Swanson, who plays the main character. Got Luke Perry in, Ben Affleck, Hilary Swank, Donald Sutherland. I like it. I haven't got that on DVD or Blu ray. Like. I should probably get that. I do like it. Last time I watched that thing, I was just streaming it or something like that. Maybe it's on Netflix, Amazon. Snow Stories. Frozen. Let it go. K2, what's that? Vertical Limit. Vertical Limit's good. Everest. You could watch them in your snow days. But today, I think I'm going to go. I think I'm going to go and watch 30 Days of Night. And climate don't exist, Jane. That cold April weather, that's death approaching. I think these are all the vampire movies I can find that I own. I do have one more, but that's for my next video because I've just bought that. But I'm not sure you that yet. I just bought it. I haven't even seen it. I've got Blade. Put them down there. Got all the Lost Boys, one, two, and three. Got Dracula and Tool. Sure, that got like bad ratings. I really enjoy Dracula and Tool. I thought, I thought it was really good. How Dracula became Dracula. Obviously, 30 Days of Night. I've got all the Twilights. Do enjoy a good vampire movie. And vampire TV shows. And everything to do with vampires. I think vampires are like the coolness, aren't they? Like, vampires are cool. You've got like your, your werewolves and all that, beasts, your mummies. But for some reason, vampires just seem like it's cool as so hell. Cool. Like you would want to be, if I seen some vampires, and you were vampires, to make me a vampire, I would definitely be a vampire. Sorry if I would eat you, but have to feed. Mark, <laughs> uh, guess it's for the love of movies. I think my next video is going to be just a little bit of a Poundland haul. Oh, I've got that other vampire movie, I'll show you that. Thanks very much and goodbye. Board the windows. Try to hide. They're coming. So now as we move on to my YouTuber of the week, and this week my YouTuber of the week, who I'll give a shout out to, is Colinho9. Colinho9 there, spelled Colinho, just number nine. This guy, he's got a really, really good sense of humour, he's really funny. He does reviews, reviews, does his collections, best Hollywood actress there. Blu-ray, movie pickups, Netflix films reviews, so he basically... He buys stuff, he'll show it off, he does reviews, he does lists and all that type of stuff. Really, really funny guy. Really, really, he has a great sense of humour. I'll just quickly put on the Star Wars Complete Blu-ray Steelbook Collection that he's got. This was put on about a week ago. another video today's video i am so happy to be doing i've been wanting to do this for quite a while now never got around to doing it and i was just hoping someone would actually want to actually see it i did a video a couple of weeks ago now it's a pickup video where i showed all my pickups off and i actually showed these off star wars empire strikes back and return of the jedi in yeah so that's carly in your name i'll leave a link down in the description below if you go down, check out his channel, subscribe to his channel. Really, really great guy. Really great channel. Thanks very much. I'm Mark. This is for the love of movies. Thanks very much and goodbye. And that is Carlino 9.
Like an angel on your shoulder, see? And if you ever get hurt, and you feel that you're going down, this little angel is going to whisper in your ear. He's going to say, Get up, you son of a bitch! Because Mickey loves you.